Sonic the Hedgehog has cemented himself as a gaming icon, with a legacy that spans almost 30 years. The newest title in the series does a complete 180 compared to other recent titles, but does it stand out from the dozens of other Sonic games? So Sonic Mania was announced last year for the 25th anniversary of its titular character. Although the game was published through Sega, the game was developed by two indie game studios who are known for strings of Sonic fan games. The game is mostly 16-bit, similar to the original Sonic games for the Genesis, but there are added 3D effects that make the game pop out more than its predecessors. There are several old stages brought back and revamped here, along with a couple new stages. Some of the new zones like Studiopolis completely blew me away. There's so many things going on in the background and the environment that you really have to just stop and stare to take everything in. The revamped zones are just as beautiful as well, all of them feeling more vibrant and challenging than their 90s counterparts. These zones really feel like living worlds, which is super hard to do on a 2D platform. The gameplay is just the same as it was. Go as fast as you can while collecting as many rings as possible. The game allows you to play as Sonic, Knuckles, or Tails, and they all have their signature abilities from previous titles. There's returning and new bosses, but they all offer different mechanics to keep things interesting. As a sort of novice player, some of these bosses are no joke. I died too many times to count in these fights, but it was still fun to keep trying. The many easter eggs in this game are prominently seen in boss fights, with tinges of nostalgia hidden around every corner. In addition to the boss fights, there's also hidden 3D levels similar to the ones seen in Sonic 3. These don't actually get you emeralds, but earning enough silver medals on these stages will unlock a few extra modes for you to play. I won't spoil any of these for those of you who like to be surprised, but I will say they are very cool, and actually add a whole nother layer of replayability to the game. In addition to the traditional story type mode, we have Time Trials and its two player counterpart called Competition Mode. These modes are basically just an arcade style, race to the finish to beat your high score type of modes. I haven't delved into this yet because I'm still only one zone away from beating the story mode, but I'm sure this will add quite a bit of replayability. The two player mode is also a nice addition to the Switch, and I really enjoyed being able to play against friends. I was really skeptical about this game because I played quite a few Sonic fan games and I honestly thought they had been played out. Like I said, this idea is almost 30 years old, and even though the gameplay is timeless, you can still have too much of a good thing. After experiencing the fresh new story, amazing visual effects, and complex boss fights, I can safely say, it is not played out. The developers definitely stuck to their guns, but there's enough innovative ideas in here to really make this game stand out. This is perfect for older fans who want that kick of nostalgia, and also for newer fans who never really got to experience the feeling of a Sonic game. This is the ultimate 2D Sonic experience, and I think it's a must have for anyone who likes video games. So if you were able to pick this game up on Tuesday, let me know which zone is your favorite. Like I said, mine was probably Studiopolis, just stopping and looking at all the detail in the background and everywhere in that zone is just awesome. It's a beautiful game, you gotta check it out. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for the latest Switch content available. This is Max from Max Culture, and thank you for watching.